So today we're going to look at booting your computer from a USB stick or a CD-ROM. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So today, as I say, we're looking at booting your computer from a USB stick or a CD-ROM. Now, why would you want to do this? Now, if you want to boot into, say, a recovery environment, you want to try a different system. You want to try a Linux system, something like that. You can boot from a CD or a USB drive to do lots of things, like I say, to use a different system, to perhaps rescue some files, to perhaps try and fix something from outside Windows, perhaps you've got a virus on your computer and whilst you're in Windows you just can't fix it or you've got a file that you can't delete it's always in use so this guide may well help you to be able to fix a variety of problems by booting into a different system using a CD-ROM or a USB device now first things first you need to find out what key you need to push to boot your system into a USB stick or a CD-ROM. Now, depending on what systems you've got depends on what key it's going to be. Now, generally, it's going to be these F keys that are along the top of the keyboard just there. One of those is going to be the key that you can push to get into the actual boot settings and choose where you want to boot from. So on an Acer PC, generally, it's going to be the F12 key, that one just there. Sometimes it could be the escape key, the ESC key. Sometimes it could be the F9 key. On an Asus computer, it's generally going to be either the escape key or the F8 key. On a compact computer, you're looking at F9 or the escape key. A Dell computer is generally always going to be the F12 key. HP is more or less always going to be the escape key just there, but some very rare HPs could be the F9 key. Lenovo, there's a variety of keys here, so it's either going to be the F12, the F10, or the F8 key, or it could be the FN key just down there and F11. Samsung's are generally going to be, again, the escape key, but a few are the F12 key. Sony is going to be the F11 or F10, or you might have an assist button on uh, your Sony, so push that. Toshiba, virtually always going to be the F12 key. If you've got a system not listed here, then you can Google what key is my boot key, or you can just try the escape key, the F8, F9, F10, F11, or F12 key, and see what one does the job. Now, okay, so how do you get to that point where uh, you, you need to push your, your... So let's just try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a U, my USB stick into the computer. It's a bootable USB stick. Or you could put your bootable CD into the computer. And then if you're running Windows 8, 11 or 10, then you need to click on the start button. And I'm just going to move my camera just to the top of the screen there. And you need to go to the power logo and then you need to click restart and you need to have your finger near to the key that you should be pushing to boot. Now I'm on a Acer laptop so my key is going to be the F12 key so I'm just going to press restart there and I've got my finger ready. The computer's restarting and what we're waiting for is we're waiting for the computer's logo to appear. There we go. And as you can see, my logo's appeared. So I'm just tapping the F12 key. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it said entering boot device selection menu. So now what I can do is I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard. Uh, I'm just going to move the camera around a little bit. It's these keys just here to move up and down to select where I want to boot from. So there you go. So at the moment, I've selected the CD-ROM. What I actually want is I want the USB. So there we are. I've selected USB HDD Kingston Data Traveler. That's the name of my USB device. So I'm going to press Enter 
to confirm that I want to select the option. And then it says press a key to boot from USB. So I'm going to press it. And there we go. It's now booting from my USB stick, which is in the side of my laptop. Now, pressing this key can be a bit of a fine art. So you might have to do this a few times. The important thing is make sure that Windows is booted up. Make sure that your CD is in the drive or your USB sticks in the side of the computer. And then as it's restarting, get your finger near the key. As soon as you see your computer manufacturer's logo come up, then hit that key. Keep tapping it. Sometimes if it's the escape key, you might find that if you keep tapping it and you tap it for too long, then it may well escape back out of the boot menu. So the best thing to do there is perhaps press the escape key once as soon as you've seen the uh, the manufacturer's logo come up. But you might need to try it a few times to get it right. If you don't have any luck, then I've got another way of doing this if you're running Windows 8, 10 or 11. What you need to do is you need to ensure that your CD-ROM or your USB stick are plugged into the computer. And then you need to click on the start button and then click on the little power logo and then hold down the shift key. That's this key here on the left hand side of the keyboard. Hold that down and click restart okay and wait until you see please wait then let go of the shift key now the computer is going to reboot but it's going to reboot into a special mode and you may well see please wait there below the windows logo and then when this screen comes up you should have an option that says there use a device use a USB drive network connection or windows recovery DVD so select that press enter and then here you should see there you go I'm just going to move my camera EFI USB device now if you haven't got this or that option on the previous screen then unfortunately you're going to have to keep practicing the F keys along the top there when restarting your computer when the manufacturer's logo appears so I'm just going to try this I'm going to go into EFI USB device OK, I've got my USB plugged in and let's just see whether or not it boots. There we have it now. It's now booting from my USB drive. So there you go. I hope this guide helps. And if it does, then consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look through my Amazon store, then have a look in the description down below. Or if you're looking for a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories, or looking for a VPN, there's loads of links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, if you see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might find useful, then please share them on your social media timelines.